Hey everybody, this is Dave from Tranquil Geo, and today I'm going to show you how to make these bad boys. These are broccoli microgreens. These are about seven, eight days old, and typically you'll want to harvest them around day eight or day nine. And then you'll just cut these up with scissors and put them in your salad, baked potato, sandwich, burger, anything like anything really. The only thing is you, you want to eat them raw, you don't want to cook them in any way. You can cook big broccoli, but not, not the microgreens, because it'll just absolutely devastate whatever nutrients that are in it. Okay. And uh, as far as why you need, why I think everybody should be eating these and growing these, uh, I leave that to you. Uh, I highly suggest you go on Google and why are micro, and you know, Google why are microgreens good for me, uh, what's in broccoli, and different things like that. But, I mean, it's said that these microgreens are up to, from 4 to 40% more nutrition in these little microgreens than are in the adult plant. So, it makes you wonder how many of uh, the, like, broccoli florets you would have to eat to, to equal out, like, a few, uh, few little rows of these, these bad boys. But anyway, I leave that up to you and you can decide for yourself if maybe that's something you might want to grow. But I highly recommend it because it ma they make you feel great and they're very good for your body. Okay, well first off you're going to need some soil. Any kind of soil will work. The, for example, this, this is uh, homemade compost that I've made for actually my garden. You can use this. But these were grown with uh, coconut coir, which basically has no nutrients in it whatsoever. It's just coconut husks. You can grow them with anything. You can even do it hydroponically, but I'm not fond of that method. So I just, I like, I like soil when I grow things. That's just me. Teach his own, I guess. All right. Now, uh, as far as, if you don't have like, if you don't have like um, any growing medium, you can pick up a bag of like soil from like Walmart or Costco or anywhere like that. And I typically, when I, whenever I buy something, I buy seed starting mix because I also grow lettuce indoors, which I'll show you how to do that as well. You know, that way you can have fresh lettuce that you know you know it's good for you, you know it's healthy and ain't got no E. coli or anything like that in it because you grow it yourself but uh, I pick up a seed starting mix I j typically get the Jiffy and it's about four dollars a bag and you can grow many many applications of microgreens with one bag of it but okay but let's enough with the chit chat let's get started alright what you're gonna want is uh, a container any container will work this one's about maybe an inch and a half deep you want at least an inch and a half depth but you don't want like something like huge because you, you'll be wait you're just wasting soil if you if you get anything that's got that's too deep so I, I this is one of my favorites and it's just you know maybe for you can get maybe two servings of microgreens out of this one little container so this is perfect for a, a small family or just or whatever you can grow m multiples of these if you've got a bigger family but okay, anyway, just want to go with a big bag here so that I don't make a big mess. Just fill it up close to the top. You want it to be close to the top because it makes it easier to cut the microgreens when they get to uh, maturity. This is good enough right here. See about this depth right there. And you want to make sure to equal it out. Make sure it's nice and level. Don't compact it too much. And now we're done with our soil. We'll get this out of the way. Okay, next you take your spray bottle. 
and you uh, moisten the soil real good before we put the seeds on. It should be good enough. Now with a seed starting mix, it's pretty dry and you're going to, you know, you, you, you want to let the water pool up a little bit on the seed starting mix. Because you give it a good start, you won't have to uh, water it every 15 seconds. Okay, next, uh, here's my broccoli seeds that I got. It's These are from uh, ToddSeeds.com. I got it from uh, Amazon. I think this big bag cost me about 30 bucks, but you can get smaller bags. And then you can you can actually get starter little starter kits that you can use that are, that are, that are pretty good. Okay, so what you're going to do is the, the neat thing about this, I've never grown anything in this way. Usually you take your seeds and you plant them. You put them under the soil, but you don't with these. So I'm going to take, take a small handful of these seeds here. I'll show you there. About that many. Just sprinkle them over top. Try to get it good and even. Don't worry about too many. Don't worry about it. If they're touching or anything, they'll grow. They'll find, uh, the roots will find a system the roots have a way. Okay, and then once you've got them, see so you, you see the seeds on top here, about looking about like that, then we're, we're done. And we can actually, we're going to wet them again, get them to stick to the top of the soil. I would say to tamp them down, but if you do that now, then the seeds are going to stick to your hand. So, but this is fine. This is how I always grow them. And now that we have this nice and wet, the next thing you do is you find something to cover them with. It's a pizza box. And there you go. Pretty easy, huh? And then from then on, all you have to do is water these once in the morning. Give them a couple sprays. You don't want to wet them too much. Because if you do, you might set up, uh, they might get a little moldy. And we don't want any mold, obviously. Once in the morning, you're going to water these once in the morning and once in the evening. And in about three days, again, they're going to start looking like this. And you just water them, put the top back on it. See, this top right here, it allows a little bit, and you might even want to crinkle it a little bit to allow some oxygen to get in there. Because they need oxygen and they need darkness. I have a very bright kitchen here, so obviously I have, have to cover them with something. So we'll put these up out of the way and then these right here will start going up and then they'll start pushing on the cardboard and they'll start they'll really start to uh, germinate and then once that happens you want to take the cardboard off and keep these in a darkest imaginable place until they get up until they start getting a little higher and then you want to put them close to the light, but not too close. You want these to stretch up toward, this, toward the light. Because if they're leggy like these are, they're very easy to harvest with a pair of scissors. But if they're real short, you know, you can imagine. You won't get as many out of it. But that's how you do it. And as far as I know, that's about all I can tell you. Alright, have a good one and we'll see you on the next video.